Well, here we are again. I cannot have possibly imagine how much love and support the first edition of 5 Mods received. For that, I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who enjoyed the last video. Since then, I've been working hard to research and test several mods that will not only work with Anniversary Edition, but add more immersion and interesting gameplay to your Skyrim playthrough. From a popular role-playing mod to some brand new weapon mods, here are five more mods for Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Do you ever get tired of seeing the same old models for steel and silver weapons in your game? Looking for a refresh that will make your enemies shiver in their boots? Our first mod will satisfy that urge. Steel Weapons Replacer and Silver Swords Replacer by Osteo XV will replace those old dingy weapon models with unique designs from his Silverthorn Weapon Remod. The engravings on the weapons combined with the polished silver or steel finish reminds me of beautiful carved viking weaponry. Definitely one of my favorite weapon replacer mods that I've discovered so far. When you think of medieval mythological weapons, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Need a hint? How about an iconic weapon from mythology that summons lightning. Yes, we're talking about the legendary Thor's majestic hammer, Mjolnir. Mjolnir, Hammer of Thor by Strange1884, allows you to wield the power of wealth, Mjolnir. This version of Mjolnir is a little different if you're thinking of the Marvel iteration of Thor though, as it was modeled from the God of War iteration of Mjolnir. This variation gives the hammer more of an arc at the top while still feeling and looking like an actual Warhammer. The model looks amazing, especially with the bright blue rune-like engravings on the sides. The hammer has an enchanted variant with a unique enchantment. It reads, the weapon recognizes your worth and invigorates your veins with the power of thunder, dealing 20 shock damage per hit. It also comes with a non-enchanted version and two super cool stab variants that hurl lightning bolts at your enemies, making you truly feel like the infamous Thor himself. In the future, users can look forward to new features added to this mod, including the ability to throw the hammer and have it return to the player, a lore-friendly dungeon to find the hammer, and more effects for the weapon. Our next mod heavily embraces the mystical side of the Elder Scrolls universe, bringing you an interestingly unique companion. Caldus, the Skeleton Companion, by Retrovibe isn't your average companion you find walking around the halls of Blue Palace. Caldus is very unique, as you can tell by his humorous appearance. Get it? Humorous? Okay, okay, my bad, sorry, my bad. Caldus is a living skeleton that comes from a dimension called the Boneyard. You can find him protecting the gate to the Boneyard at the newly added Boneyard Gateway location northwest of Falkreath. He's a very strong companion. During combat, he'll spawn a mini ghostly version of himself that will fight alongside of him, reducing enemies to mere ash. He's fully voiced and has quite a bit of lore to him, which is genuinely interesting. And I personally hope that Retrovide is able to give us a nice quest line for Caldus in the future, as he states he has way more planned for this little mod. Our next mod in our list is by far one of the most popular immersion mods on the Nexus. Of course, I'm talking about the ever popular Winter Sun Faiths of Skyrim by Inai Sion. Any Skyrim mod enthusiast knows what this mod does, but for those who don't, allow me to enlighten you. Religion is a major concept within the Elder Scrolls, as most characters in Skyrim worship one or more of the Nine Divines or the Day of Princes if you're feeling edgy. Winter Sun makes the aspect of religion more important for your character by allowing you to follow any one of the Daedra or Aedra that you desire. Doing so will give you buffs or nerfs to your stats and or skills depending on your favor with them. To gain favor with your chosen god, you can pray to them every so often, worshiping at the deity shrine, which can be found around Skyrim, and adhering to their tenets like not breaking laws or raising your character's level. You can also lose favor with your deity by violating tenets or ignoring religious duties and once your favor reaches zero percent your deity will completely abandon you like goku abandoned his kids surprisingly though that's not all this mod has to offer like i said before if you're feeling edgy you can seek out the shrines of daedric princes in order to begin following them there's also temptations which can occur from reading about a daedric prince or interacting with them during a quest when this happens you'll be asked if you want to become a follower of that prince regardless of your character's background or race however if you decline their offer that will be the last time they ask you there's even more to this mod than what i've stated here but i'll let you all find out for yourselves this is a must-have mod for anyone seeking the maximum amount of immersion in their playthroughs have you ever gone through your 200 Skyrim playthrough and thought, this game is amazing, but it would be even better with guns? Me either. But with this mod, you can fulfill that dream that you never had. Lore Friendly Rifles of Skyrim by Onroys is a simple mod that aims, get it, aims, 
Okay, my fault. I'll stop. I'll stop. That aims to bring handguns into Skyrim in the most immersive and lore friendly way possible. When I say lore friendly, I really mean lore friendly. They've actually included an entire lore description on the mod page itself explaining why and how these weapons came to be. There are 13 of these handguns, each corresponding to either a medal found in the game or a faction. There's things like Ebony, Vampire Hunter, Glass, Blades, and more variants for you to find in the world by looting and or crafting. All very cool and beautiful looking in their own right, even though the first person view is a little bit wonky, but nonetheless. The best part is that all these models were created using vanilla assets, so this will likely be available for consoles as well in the future, if not already. A great mod for those who just want a little bit of spice to their playthrough without sacrificing immersion. And with that, we've reached the end of our list. I have to say that I'm very surprised at how much support and compliments I've received from the first video. It really feels good to be acknowledged for the hard work I put into these two videos, so I appreciate you all for watching. If you're interested, please come support me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamingaddict. I stream there at least five times a week and we stream Skyrim and other RPGs, so come through and show some love. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like it. It helps me out a lot and subscribe if you want more videos like this, plus some other content I have on the way as well. I'll catch you guys in my next video.